Hmm. It seems like there was something important we were supposed to do, but... I know, I know. It's just niggling in the back of my mind. <sighs> something about a crane game? Hmm. I don't think that was it, but I just can't quite get it straight. Either way, I guess we're the bittersweet gamers or something? Aren't we squared, I I'm, guess? I'm the opinionator? Where am hey. I? Coffee good for you? That is your name, yes? <laughs> you didn't say anything, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there was something kind of important we did forget about. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's me. Charges have been filed against you. The person who raised these allegations is Ichi Ryusai Matarame. I assume you know him? I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh... Had that been it, we wouldn't be here right now. What? However, your prior criminal assault means you are currently on probation, correct? I see. Oh! <laughs> Didn't I tell you to behave yourself? So that means having violated probation. So then, you're coming with us. I see, I see. I'm sorry, but it has to be now. And now our life is ruined. Seriously? God, what a disappointment. I was actually kind of hoping for for it to be pretty entertaining. Instead, it's deathly serious. Well, I mean, this is kind of like a... It, it didn't look like that's what... Re it didn't seem like that was the real world, so to speak. I mean, because yeah. we are giving a freaking story here. What's Sai gonna do? That wasn't what happened, and you know it. You're just telling me a lie. Yeah. Is that the entirety of your testimony? Oh, and that, now she leaves. <sighs> You're so pathetic. I can't believe you let time run out. <laughs> you have no intention of saying anything more? Or is the overdose affecting your memory? Now, yes, in that's case, it. It seems it'd be a waste of time to speak to you any longer. Prepare to rot in this cell for... Not really forever, actually, but... You done screwed everything up now! This is an interrogation room, ma'am. I'm not that doped. <sighs> oh, God! And now it's time to... Allow me to enlighten you. Oh, my! That trivial righteousness that you paraded around. So we get our first glimpse at the uh, primary antagonist by letting time run out. I suppose so. Woo! Well, well, well. I didn't expect that. Well, I didn't happened. expect that to happen. Huh? I'm sure glad we did this. Yeah. He's dead. He's killed himself. Damn it. Well, wasn't that glum? Why do I am happy and cheerful? As for what we're actually going to do, we're going to take just a couple of days before we send a calling card. That way, it'll actually make all of the resolution with sending the card, with the battle with Madarame... It won't be broken up by a bunch of other daily stuff. Right, and the resolution will all happen all at once. So this is an efficient use of our time planning what's going to make the most interesting stuff. Of course, that means today is mainly going to be a lot of confidant events and stat building, unless none of that's interesting either. Oh, well, we'll find out. We don't really know, after all. <laughs> so, Doc, I notice this isn't exactly a clinical trial. <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> This place should work. Oh my. By the way, look at that personal style of hers. A spider web dress and ripped up leggings. <laughs> she knows what she likes. And that's good. The conditions here are perfect for gathering data outside of the clinic. And this should also help me to see the, re the reactions to more external variables, such as a change in environment. Well then, shall we begin? What are you going to do? What's on today's menu? <laughs> well, aren't I lucky to have such a cooperative <laughs> test subject. You really are helpful. Now then, strip and go for a swim in that lake. <laughs> oh. Only kidding. You tease. We're going to do a control test. I want to record some data without you having taken any medicine. That makes sense. I need some comparison data, and today I'm going to gather every last bit of it. Every? And I said gather, too. You know, <laughs> I have to make mistakes sometime. 
The more test data I have, the more helpful it'll be. This is important, so don't slack off. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go for a run. About five kilos should do. Not kidding this time. Oh, dang. What? 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 Am I just giving you something now? Well, you did buy that cactus. Oh, uh, yeah, that was when I had a whole lot of money. Ooh, a cactus. This is pretty cute. I can keep it on my desk and it won't I'm wilt great. easily. And I can throw it in the face of that smug SOB when he comes by next time. Ah, it works as a weapon as well. <laughs> mm, you've got good taste. Thanks. Ooh. Well, that went really well. That was also way more interesting than the... Non-events in four? Yeah. Like where you're just building bonds but don't actually get anything? Right, this time it was actually kind of fun. Yeah. I'm great. Cool. Hello. Hello. Not you! <laughs> huh? Who could that be at this hour? I wonder if this is... It's oh. your boy! I never sleep! I only play video games! There's a movie I gotta see! Muji, if you call me your boy one more time... No, I... It, that's me. I'm your boy. What? When I say it's your boy, I mean it's me. I'm your boy. I'm not calling you your boy. I think you're completely missing the point of what I'm getting at. <laughs> I know we haven't finished taking care of Matarame yet, but you want to take a breather? There's about a week left. The cake night rises. It's an action flick. What do you say? Why not? Excellent. That settles it then. Let's meet up in front of the movie theater in Shibuya. Sorry. Shit, my bad. I was killing time at the convenience store. Then I didn't realize how late it was. Dude, you you asked me to come hang out with you, <laughs> and then you come you show up late. Oh well, you know how it is. God, you're such a loser, man. Do you wanna know why I use pies? <laughs> Cakes are too quick. You can't savor all the little. Taste sensations. You see, when forced to choose cake or pie, people show you their true taste. <laughs> you, you're a psychopath who bakes for money. <laughs> you were born in the cake dough, <laughs> but I have mastered the pie. <laughs> Everything about this movie, it's absolutely ridiculous. But the protagonist's passion to fight for his friend, somehow that really touched me. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's awesome. <laughs> I kind of can't wait to see the next one. Right? right? Actually. Damn, I might have teared up a little bit. Those revenge movies really make me feel, you know? Revenge movie? That was a revenge movie? <laughs> revenge is a dish best served in a pastry. <laughs> is that really all I remember from that movie? How about you? Don't those revenge movies make you feel something? They make me feel something, all right. <laughs> right. No, I actually do like them. I'm just messing around. This kind of thing is what the Phantom Thieves are doing, too. Baking. Less, pas less pastries. There we go. I can get behind I'll that. Back. All right, let's get kicking. Let's get going. It was fun kicking it with you today. <laughs> That's pretty useful, though. I actually like this. I like how the name was a parody of The Dark Knight Rises, but they were doing a Joker quote. Gonna party till sunrise today. Hey, if you get too carried away, we're gonna catch flack for being disreputable youth again. Didn't you hear about that dude who got busted for taking a nude selfie while he was working? What the heck? Why do people do things like that? Don't harsh my boss, buddy! Forget all that noise and just keep drinking, my dude! Why are we friends? Yoshida-san! The stuff I got from your speeches was great! Do you know how much money I got from those guys thanks to you? Ah. I need to learn more! Ah, I see you've been fundraising! Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that sign, just like that. Everyone. Just like this, sir? That you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. Hmm. 
To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like... Is to act like a heartless machine. Excuse me, sir. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. <laughs> it doesn't take energy to care about people. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need your support more than ever. That approach isn't gonna work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're gonna completely lose the hearts and minds of the people, especially with gobbledygook like that. Should I strip naked and take selfies of myself? No, you already <laughs> tried that last time, no good, Tora! Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Matsushita! It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by to see how you were doing. Oh, you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? My times have changed. Do you know about the Kuramoto children? <laughs> yeah, no, but I did hear about you, them. Yeah, Yoshida mentioned them. Right, what that was about is a, sort of a particular wave of elected politicians. Yeah, yeah. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuramoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. Hmm. I made an amazing career uh! going from pro wrestler to a diet member. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. Very, very astute. <laughs> that was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback, though. You're truly an inspiration. Not exactly Jesse Ventura, I suppose. <laughs> As are you, old friend. You're working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. I don't know. After that last speech, I, I, I kind of don't really agree with anything that he said. Well, th maybe that's part of the problem. The message he's selling? He's selling? Uh, perhaps. Like I said, I don't think it takes energy or sacrifice to care about someone else. Caring about others, care, be they constituents, your fellow man, anybody. Caring doesn't take energy. Action takes energy. But you don't lose energy by focusing on your own gain. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't actively sacrifice for others, but not every. it's not fair to say that people must go volunteer. I got you. Must I got go you. give to charity. No, those things are wonderful. And yes, you should do them. But if you don't do them of your own volition, coming to them yourself, then they're meaningless. They yeah. don't matter. You don't get anything out of it if you don't approach it with the right mindset. Right. Giving and kindness out of obligation instead of instead of a, a, will? From a source of genuineness. Yes, will. That's yeah. pretty good. Though doing those things without the right or coming from the wrong source, it's it's about your motivation, not just your outcomes. And again, I don't think there's anything wrong with focusing on your own gain and loss. Are is. If you apply that kind of on a large schedule, or schedule, schedule. If, you, <laughs> if you apply that on a large scale, that's clearly what I was trying to uh, say. I'm sorry, but from 3.30 to 4.30, I'm just thinking about loss there. <laughs> <laughs> if you apply that on a large scale, that's like saying people shouldn't actually look out for themselves. But if you don't try and make a difference in your own life, in your own career, with your own relationships, from yourself, for yourself... Who's going to do that for you? You won't be in a position to be charitable. Yeah. I I just... I like Yoshida, and I like the stuff he was saying, but this stuff was all a bunch of gobbledygook. However, if you want to say you should care more about people, then yes, I agree. And being selfish and wrapped up in yourself, yeah. that's a recipe for disaster, too. Uh, bah! That's from 5.30 to 6.30. Yoshida's well informed about the inner working politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does <sighs> if you want to become a diet member. Hmm? And what might that mean? I believe I just made all that clear, sir. <laughs> I'm guessing he doesn't know. 
You really think you can win this election by being completely honest and making good arguments? I figured it was worth a shot. Oh, and he's now you're angry to, at the other guy. <laughs> he's going to say, don't you know you got to get on the gravy train? You got to be some degree of corrupt. Blech! <laughs> I'm actually having this is to. a very special episode of Bittersweet Gamer. Yeah, apparently so! <laughs> You've gotta secure votes, or else you'll be forever known as No Good Torah. Secure votes? What? Without honesty and good arguments, there could be no political justice! Amen, brother! <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. <laughs> Nakamura kun, was it? Tell me. What about Yoshida here drew you in? Well, you see, he gave me some <laughs> tips on speaking. I applied them to demons from another world, and they gave me lots of money. Ah, oh, I see you're accepting rehab <laughs> members as well. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie about it. His speaking skills. Right. The camera crew. Well, that's quite impressive. You just may have the potential to become a diet member. You don't have a shady past, do you? <laughs> oh, you do have a shady, corrupt past? Excellent, you'll be a shoo-in. <laughs> you address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you've been taught well. You're right. I intend to teach him everything I know. And bless you for it, sir. That's what we agreed on. Now, the proper way to wear a sash... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually very practical and useful information. From the right shoulder to the left hip. Yes! Oh. Even more money! <laughs> right. That that whole even more money doesn't have anything to do with that whole game and loss thing. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Quit judging me. <laughs> By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuramoto? Yes. Oh, we're still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Clearly, this is where this confidant storyline is going. Well, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds. Uh -huh. Remember, Yoshino was accused of embezzlement. Yes. He did the other things that he was accused right, of right. and admitted to them, but he only ever said he was accused of the embezzlement. Alleged. Yeah. But I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's oh. all I'm going to say. Why did he have to mention that? Now to go snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, my apologies. That's all for today. Perhaps I should have said, it doesn't matter and know your role. <laughs> oh, yes. I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. Is this a fishing class now, sir? Yes, I'm going to teach you all about U.S. history now. <laughs> I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. You're going to teach us about U.S. history? Shouldn't that maybe not be what we're learning about in that's, this class? That's just how it works here. I guess you're right. Oh, right. When people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. It's okay. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force. I did hear that, sir. For some reason, they ended up getting romanticized. Nice flourish. Now then, Nakamura-kun. Uh, what is the answer? Who was the pirate who said that he hid his treasure in a certain place just before he was executed? Gold Roger. <laughs> He's not wrong! <laughs> this actually is William Kidd. Right, of course it's a question about one of our frickin' allies' persona. That's right. The answer is William Kidd, also known as Captain Kidd, because he was the captain of his vessel. Kidd was a merchant who had raised money from aristocrats. He should have been subduing pirates. Yeah, he was a pirate hunter, that's what I thought. But in order to turn his commission into a profit, he ended up becoming a pirate himself. I think it was a little more complicated than that, but that's also not not true, but I'm no expert on the guy. The money he used for his exploits was essentially the aristocracies. He himself wasn't considered rich. Still, several novels were written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. 
By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to sleep. What? <laughs> he spent his time around North America and the Caribbean. He didn't go to Kyushu. <laughs> yep. Kids' secret treasure, huh? Regardless of its actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. Maybe we'll find it in mementos. In that case, go into the exam. Huh? So this is the Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Oh. Oh, looks like I have a patient with an emergency. This clearly isn't a ruse or something. Oh, I guess it is. And? So, why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I'd heard... I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her, despite having heard the rumors about this place? Well, you know, he probably trusts her skill, or we don't know why, it, why he's here. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. Has anyone ever told you that your voice is really way too pompous? She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. I'm sorry, I didn't know what type of character it was. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital, a university hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. <sighs> a university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. One of those. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Oh, wait! I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Oh, those damn rumors. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Uh, hey. Oh, hold on. Doctor, my chest really hurts. Dr. Takemi will help. <gasps> what? A <laughs> knife! Doctor! <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. What if it was a misdiagnosis? Well, obviously it was a misdiagnosis. Yeah. Hmm. Hello? Hello, Uehara-san? Is Dr. Schweitzer there? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. Dr. Schweitzer? I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You've also been hired to help me now. You've been drafted. <laughs> You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also, bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge. A towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Snips and snails and puppy dog tails. Ooh, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Oh, bring the brandy, too. <laughs> for medicinal purposes. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Mm. It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exam. Huh! I temporarily suppressed the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that'll be one million yen for today. <laughs> uh, a million yen? Th that's outrageous. You're completely taking advantage of... I mean, all right. I agreed to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, your laugh is... You don't take credit cards, do you? Cash only! I'll go withdraw some cash right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, you're actually going to pay? W were you joking? By the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief of staff Oyamada? Yes. Are you familiar with him? He's a complete and total hack. I knew it. In that case, I'll make it free of charge. <laughs> For free? <laughs> I, should I compliment her? Probably. She seems the sort that that would work on. 
I guess it has worked so far. Yeah. You're so surprisingly kind, Doctor. <laughs> I mean, no. But there is a certain a certain amount of satisfaction in healing this is <laughs> I think David needs some experimental drugs. But there is a certain amount of satisfaction in healing his patient without permission. Oh, <laughs> so By naughty. Way. By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Well, daughter, I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> we don't need to be present. So, is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. I guess the rumors were correct. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? <laughs> this one's going straight up the box. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. That was really pretty awesome. That was really awesome. Oh. Um, doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, Doctor. <sighs> Don't mention it. And then Jiro's nodding in the background. Your turn. Oh, God. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe <laughs> you won't even be able to make it home. Tentacles sprout. <laughs> oh, it was scary! <laughs> I wonder if all the Confidant storylines are basically going to be about the corruption of the system, which is obviously a major theme of the game. That makes sense. It really does. So every system is going to be corrupt. All Whatever. of them! I mean, the medical system, the political system. The high school system. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as we get Kawakami as a Confidant, the school system. Well, I mean, what about uh, Ryuji's, too? Like, the way his... Yeah, even those, types, yeah. even those types of school things. I, you know, it might be a little bit different for... I was going to say it was going to be different for player characters, but I guess it won't be. Yeah. If you think about it like that... Oh, yeah, like Ahn's modeling. Exactly. Why did she even make it a point? We thought it was weird at the time. Yeah. But why did she make it a point of saying that there was a lot of problems with like, scheduling. scheduling? With Yusuke, it's going to be like the art system. Is yeah, going yeah. To Basically, that society is kind of corrupt and not ideal. And... Yeah. I don't, that's only true to form in this freaking game. Find everything that's seedy. Dredge it up to the uh, surface. Then don't... set it on fire! I mean, Sojiro, look at his storyline. Yeah, yeah. Something no, that makes perfect sense. Like, everything is kind of terrible, but I do think it's important to dredge up all the wrong and the corruption and never stop looking at it. That's the only way to get rid of it, is to know that it's there, to recognize that it's there, and to not just brush something off because it's to your or someone else's benefit, no matter who that may be. Yeah, yeah, but what about Igor and the twin? Do you think well, they're a special case? Or do you think because the twins don't know who made the list that that counts? I mean, I, I was assuming that that was just going to be kind of a cute way of referring to, yeah. like, back to Margaret and Elizabeth, but you might be right about that. I mean, they may be a special case. And then what about Morgana? Hers just... His. Sorry. Really, Billy? His just go... Yeah, I know, even after all this time, I still accidentally refer to him as a girl. Uh, his just seems to go up not really too big of a... Well, I if mean, everybody else is corrupt. I mean, I mean, if everybody else is... The storyline is about something corrupt. Why would Morgana be any different? In fact, don't you think Morgana, you know, the most suspicious character of all is going to be the one that's probably going to have the highest level corruption? That makes sense. I mean, that's, it's probably just about Mementos, but Morgana and Mementos are obviously deeply connected, or if they're not, then Morgana and Human Desires are connected. Yeah, yeah. So I think. Okay, now that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, what the heck are we gonna do for this evening? Let's figure this out! We're probably not gonna keep this, but I've been really interested in these batting cages. We did... We did poke around one time, and I was COMPLETELY INCOMPETENT! <laughs> We're gonna spend a little time with it, see if it's actually worthwhile. You said it, not me. 
So you get prizes based on your score. You get your proficiency up, and if you can hit it, and yeah, that was, okay. You gotta hit all five pitches to get one prize, and if you get a home run, you get the home oh. run prize. So it seems like you could actually get both prizes and a proficiency up, probably a sizable one, if you can yeah. hit everything. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do this, and if it fails miserably, I'm gonna let Billy do it. <laughs> well, what makes you think I'll do any better? It's this up, down. Aim for, aim for the baseball that appears on the screen. Yes, I know you aim for the dang baseball. Booyah! Oh, sweet, I got a home run. Yes! Got all five! Awesome, awesome. Nice I'll never get that dang home run again. <laughs> you got ah. more proficiency. See, I bet if I hit a home run, I'd get three points of proficiency. All right. Yeah, yeah. Because you did get a point even when you hit the home run but still missed them all. Right. A revival bead? That's... Head back? It's okay. Yeah, forget this. I'm not going to do that. And you should just go straight to after school. And now for the moment everyone's been waiting for. Man, it takes forever to get knowledge up. Jeez. <laughs> we can now take him down, yes? Madarame is going to be a changed man. There won't be any way to revert it, though. Are you sure you're okay with that? How could it be anything other than better? Yeah. You sicken me. I've thought it over carefully, and I cannot think of a future in which he does not pay his dues. Also... You sicken me? Who ever thought that was an appropriate line? Stop voice clip to play during this moment. He's preyed not only on the art world, but on countless talents. So I humbly request your help. It is his decision. Yeah, I'm not going to say don't get too worked up. Right, he should be exactly worked up. This is all Yusuke's decision. You have my thanks. I apologize for making you do this. Not at all. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusuke. I'm sure it won't really matter if Gino gets served by lawyers or anything. <laughs> okay. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? What a suave maneuver. I'll say it is! You know Yusuke's gonna send this card. Oh, I suppose so. Right. It's not about acting cool. The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. A change in cognition? That reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Uh, you must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. Um... The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography. What, do I not get a line in this meeting? Yeah, apparently not! <laughs> I think. <laughs> of course it was nicely put. She was uncertain. Yeah, Muji's just off in a corner. <laughs> Very nicely put, Lady On. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. May I get a word in? Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily, but why does this world form from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives completely oblivious? No. The heck if no. I know! We have no idea! At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida incident, but that's all. I see. Crap! You <sighs> totally caught me off guard with that! Oh my god, I get a line finally! Ugh. It's kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn thing about. Did the thought ever cross your mind, Jiro? I'm very guarded about what I think and say. <laughs> Probably not. I mean... Realistically, why would you ever think that, but... I think you meant since this thing started, did you ever think about it? What? Did... But... Yes! <laughs> don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in, after all. That's true! All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. By me turning into a van. What? <laughs> a calling card, huh? Will he take it seriously? That must be why Yusuke has to do it. Right, Yusuke's the only person who would know how to actually rile him up. Yeah. 
He is famous after all. He has often received slanderous letters till now as well. That's why it has to be him. And yeah. Besides, Yusuke's the artist. No offense to Ryuji, but shouldn't he be doing all the calling cards from here on out? <laughs> Maybe Ryuji doing it will offend him so much because of how badly drawn it is. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> He'll know best whether the crime written on it is for real or not. Wait, are you going to write it again, Ryuji? That last one was questionable at best. What are you talking about? It was a masterpiece! I thought it was good! You should do it then, Yusuke. Oh, make it really artistic and stuff. Yeah, it's better if Yusuke does it. He is the artist. Artistic and stuff? <laughs> no, it'll end with him figuring it out. Oh. He knows my drawing and writing styles all too well. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Very well. There's only one person here who's got experience with this sort of thing. Ryuji? All right! Oh, then I'll think it up and you make it cooler. Hey! Designing a calling card. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it shall become proof that the Phantom Thieves do exist. Yeah? I like how Yuji actually has become Mr. Calling Card. <laughs> it's decided then. I wonder if there's going to be, if there's going to, like, if they're going to address it like this every time. I hope so. That'd be really cool. Great! All that's left is to make the treasure ours. Oh yeah. You guys better come fully prepared. We have spent quite some time and money becoming fully prepared. <laughs> Yo, I tried changing the chat icon. Looks the same to me. Maybe it's just for the group and doesn't show up in here. Well, you should take a look later. What? It's that Phantom Thieves logo I had Yusuke draw for us. Oh, okay. The calling card turned out great because of him, too. Anyways, this is the first job for the Phantom Thieves. We really can't screw this up, okay? I know. And make sure Yusuke gets a lot of rest today, okay? Why? Why am I saying that to you? <laughs> I, uh, I am also confused. You're not with him right now, are you? I mean, well, see y'all tomorrow. Dots. <laughs> Jealousy. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> Pardon me, sir. There's a matter we need to notify you about. I was wondering how this was going to work. Was and Yusuke's here, too. Yeah, right yeah. Me. Please excuse me for a moment. Did they plaster all this car or something? I know, I'm really curious to find out what it is. We found this outside. A letter? Ah, oh, it's just a simple one. It's, uh... Mm. Well, the point's to make it effective. Yeah. And by Ryuji thinking of it, it's not something that could be easily predicted by anyone! Yeah, you're right! Sir Ichiriusai Matarame. A great sinner of vanity whose talent has been exhausted. Oh, oh, oh! I'm really good at pissing people off! Take your heart. I mean, of course, we've seen that take your time, but I love how that's yeah. turned out to be their actual logo. That is really cool, and Ryuji is really good at this. <laughs> By the way, Billy. Yeah? You're Billy. You're not Ryuji. I know, I know! Hey, you know... You gotta do what you like. You are an artist who uses his authority to shamelessly steal the ideas of his pupils. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Of course, the direct approach. Yeah, that's how you have to. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. I like that. I mean, that that is what they're advertising their M.O. as. Yeah, yeah. But still, saying it that way is cool. To make you confess your crimes with your mouth. Yes. We make you. Like, yeah. Like, like, saying it that way is... It puts them in, like, a position of power and sort of authority, yeah, kind of? Yeah, we have this power over you, and you cannot resist us, for we are the Phantom Thieves. You king, you person who thinks you are a ruler. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Who's doing is this? We don't know. The same letter has been posted everywhere. There we it go. It has been everywhere. Okay. What about the security cameras? There were no signs of the culprit. Always <laughs> the recordings. Yeah. <laughs> 
Remove these at once. Well, the cat didn't put them there. Of I wonder where they all are. <laughs> it's like um, they're all awkward and up on the wall, weird, because Morgana's trying to do it with pot. <laughs> what now? It's about this affecting the exhibit. We believe it's just a prank, but what of the mass media? They're definitely going to report on the prank, which Especially of course- Especially with Kamoshida. Yeah. That, the Phantom, if this appears a second time, then that kind of cements them as a thing. Right, the media may not report on the Phantom Thieves just yet. Right. Until he does it. Right. I mean, like, right now, for instance. Yeah, yeah, But then they'd start to put it together and begin to investigate mm -hmm. them, which is the problem. Well, I mean, you know. That, that's really interesting. Are you insinuating that this slander is true? After all, the whole idea that was set up way at the beginning of the section was we've got to make the Phantom Thieves' name known so it'll actually be effective. And inspire people to come to them with big shots like this who are doing horrible things. Right. Of course not. It's those damn brats doing, isn't it? Is he going to turn to Yusuke to say it? Well, it means nothing. They'll only be able to do as they please until this exhibit is over. Possibly because Kamoshida looked right at them. Shadow Kamoshida. Right, of Like, Shadow Madarame knows who he is, but... He doesn't seem to really care right here. Is well, this even going to have the right effect? Oh! Well, no, I mean... I guess it did! Okay. <laughs> what does that do? Don't look at me, I have nothing to do with this. Yup, it was perfect. The composition was way cooler too. The treasure should appear uh, right about now. I helped too! <laughs> yeah, but Muji can't ever get any credit from any of these characters, uh. especially on. <laughs> you better enjoy the air of freedom while you still can, old man. You know, Muji was he sticks his foot in his mouth a lot, and he was going on and on and on about trying to make it famous, you know, make the thieves famous, but he is really dedicated to this. Yeah. Anyways, do I you guys check that. online? People are already talking about that calling card. Speaking of. We'll show him. We're going to surprise them all. I'm sure you know, but we only get one shot to pull this off. It's do or die. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's rock. We can't have our leader get all timid like that. You have no reservations about this either, right, Yusuke? Yeah, right? I wouldn't consider that timid. Of course not. We'll do this. Everybody is calmly going, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they were allowed inside the museum. Of course, considering... That's a good point. But I guess he doesn't view them as a threat. Right. Yeah. Considering the reaction we did with Kamoshida, where we were all like, We're gonna kick your butt! And this time it's just like, yeah, we'll get you. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The atmosphere in here seems significantly different. I mean, we did basically declare war on him by sending that card. But there's nothing to fear. We secured a route and we're ready to go. We'll take the treasure in style! Next time.